Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, welcoming you back to Ari the Stag channel. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey, sharing the classic dream. Great fun. Um, yes, this week I'm just going to check in actually full circle on what we looked at last week actually. If you remember, we did a pre sale review down at the Southwestern Classic Car Auctions of the sale that's actually held today, 28th. Uh, of January and uh, just thought it'd be healthy just to go back over all the cars have a look on the website and see actually what the cars went for because it's always interesting and uh, just helps us keep a finger on the pulse of what the market is um, doing out there and uh, how beloved our classics uh, value really is so let's go and have a look on screen and I'll just walk you through what's what so it's always interesting to see after the event exactly what went for what money and um, I think there was around 78 cars at the auction, the classic car auction at Southwestern Vehicle Auctions on the 28th. Uh, so very, very good. Uh, first one, standard 10, went for 11.50, as you can see there. Daimler Sovereign, 1969, uh, 31.50. Honda Sabre, 1800. Uh, little Mercedes E220, I think we saw that last week and were, was quite, quite impressed. And you'll remember Owen talking about the MG ZS as well as a kind of modern day classic. Looks like quite a good bargain, that, actually, for... £1,100 and so on and so forth. We saw the um, Escort XR3i, if you remember, towards the end of last week's video. And if you've not seen the video, please go back to the description and have a look. The um, uh, the preview of the whole auction was there. We had a walk around on site to see what was what. And uh, there was no um, reserve on this one. I think £1,600 bought it. It was a project, but I think um, had been stacked um, uh, quietly away for a number of years. And um, although it had a little bit of uh, kind of wear and tear on it it was definitely a complete car and, and worth doing which was all good to, to see that big volvo v, v70 we saw uh, that was quite a big car actually don't think there was too much wrong with that and that went for 1100 pounds so that's that's really good to see um if we go over to page two hopefully that'll work its wonders and go through the little mini um 4700 mazda rx7 that's the, the vunkel engined um rx7 that we saw 4200 uh, the Bentley, we saw again the Bentley Turbo, 3,300, a lot of car for the money um, and um, uh, I think that uh, needed a bit of work on it but nevertheless the potential is there as I think Owen was flagging last time. The first Triumph that we touched on last week on Walkabout was looking at this little Triumph Herald, it's a 1200 convertible and um, was uh, again up together reasonably uh, uh, in, in good nick uh, for 2700 obviously with a buyer's premium on top of that and we weren't too far behind with sitting in that moggy minor so again four grand got that away today and um, yeah looking at the Volkswagen Beetle Cabrio that was a very nice looking red uh, Cabrio with uh, black roof uh, just on 6,000 for that and there's a B Roadster then gone for seven and a half. So I think you're just getting a bit of a flavour now for what cars went for and I'm um, just scrolling through. This was, um, I rather fancy this myself, I must have say, this, this uh, Mercedes 280 SL. Up close and personal, it wasn't quite as good as perhaps I'd first been led to believe when I saw it last week on our wander about with Owen. Um, nevertheless, they are very uh, desirable and £8,000 plus a buyer's premium uh, made it walk today so that's that's excellent and again a second Triumph here TR, uh, the TR6 1972 10,500 uh, with that little TR7 which we looked at with the uh, uh, the check seats of its time 2,600 so again a good little good little bargain here's my uh, my grandfather's old car the Austin A40 um, exactly that colour with the black roof and the kind of aquamarine paint job uh, blue I think they technically called it and that went today for 5,000 all in Saab A4 there gone for 6.6 and uh, MGB GT again 6.8 so just giving you a reasonable feel of the marketplace and um, how people are, are faring with these cars looks like the Rover P4 hasn't gone uh, I guess it was a reserve on that not quite reached it the uh, very flash Hill climbing MGB roads that we saw again last week sold for nearly six grand, so that's moved on and great to see that. The uh, second Bentley that we stood by, that was a very tidy car from memory, um, very up together. Eight thousand pound got you that, and um, yeah, would um, would come up really nice with some uh, little bit of TLC. 
the Maserati Spider Cambio Corsa, 13 grand, just over, with the Triumph Stag that we wandered around last time, the white, old English white car with the uh, black convertible roof. It was a Mark I and uh, has sold today for £5,000 with uh, nearly 30,000 miles on the clock. Uh, not warranted any of these, of course, and a buyer's premium on top. I have to say, wandering out the car on the face of it looked really, really nice. The rear deck probably had a little bit of paint bubbling, so I suspect probably needed a bit of paint work to be done. But five grand for a sorted stag with mini lights, it uh, is not a bad deal at all. So um, somebody's picked up a pretty good bargain there. Um, yeah, another TR6, another Triumph, 9,600 went. And then the blue XK8 Jaguar, 4,600. That saw some, some keen interest. I was watching that on the live stream broadcast that Southwestern Vehicle Auctions has. And incidentally, I think that's also on the website, so you can go and have a look at that. Um, I think there was a little bit of paintwork to be done on the bonnet from memory with that one, but um, up together, very kind of good mileage and uh, worth, uh, again, 111,000. Not warranted, but nevertheless, um, pretty accurate, we think. Looking at the Triumph, again, the 2000 Estate here, we had a quick look at that. That, again, was a very tidy car, up together, uh, good starter classic and estate version. So they're not too um, common, they are. 5,600 plus a buyer's premium. And then there was that very nice Triumph TR6, which if you remember, you saw that in the hall. It's one of the first cars we saw on our video last week on the walk around. I'm not surprised, 16,800 plus a premium got you that. Um, again, not warranted miles, 66,000, but looked pretty good. That was a very, very tidy car. The paintwork on that was just stunning. It really was. A little bit of work needed on the wheels, kind of alloy wheel um, uh, refurbishment. But aside from that, again, that was a lovely, lovely car. XJSC, 1984. Uh, doesn't look like that's gone. So um, again, can't have reached its reserve, I guess, for whatever reason. Um, TVR, TVR Tamar we saw in the background that was next to the um, Aston Martin. We'll come to that at the end. 15,900. So, again, good money for that. Ford Capri, that was the 3000 GT. Had a lot of money spent on it, but uh, not quite reached uh, the sale price by the looks of it on that. And then coming through to the last page on the website here, that Ford Escort Mark I, um, 1970, it, it actually started out as. Um, uh, an ordinary Mark One, if you like, and there was a Ford Escort RS recreation, which had a real nice engine in it. it started as, out as an Escort uh, 1300L, but totally rebuilt with a two-liter Cosi engine in it. Uh, turbo injection saw some really good interest, twenty-nine thousand pound plus buyer's premium. Just goes to show how popular some of these early 70s cars are, the Ford cars. Uh, so that's really great to see. See, the uh, Ford Mustang, that was a nice looking car. Again, just needed finishing off. I think this was um, a project that sadly the owner had started but couldn't quite finish off. Uh, sadly, to passed away, so it wasn't executive sale. So that was really great to see that Ford Mustang go. So a, a really nice looking car. MG J Type 1933, 20,400. Uh, plus buyer's premium. Again, I think this was also needing a little bit of work uh, putting the seats in, but you know, all doable stuff. And then, of course, the uh, Pièce de la Résistance was the last car that Owen showed us last week. It, one was the Aston Martin DB9 Volante 2006, 50,000 miles, all warranted, and um, no surprise there. DB9, the beautiful looking car, looking at it inside, 38,000. 200 plus the, the buyer's premium so all in all i don't know what percentage of that that means that they were sold precious few didn't go by the looks of it and um uh, top work to uh southwestern vehicle auctions for doing such a, a great job i think there are some more auctions coming up and the next one i think is in the spring and so you can see here uh, this was today's, they've just finished that, that's what I've just reviewed with you. And uh, this one coming soon, uh, maybe we can look at that next time. Friday 29th of April, put that in your diaries. Uh, now taking entries, or anyone wants to sell their cars. And uh, also there's a browsing catalogue facility here, which we won't look at now, we'll look at another day. But if you want to find out what's coming up for that auction at the end of April, then uh, please do so. But um, yeah, a really great uh, event by the looks of it. Once more, uh, live stream is available on their website, Southwestern Vehicle Auctions, and um, I've also got, uh, hopefully, to go back down and uh, look at the cars for sale in the April sale. So, happy days!
All right, guys, well, I hope you found that useful. Really, really interesting to, uh, to see what uh, things go for. Definitely some really good bargains in there. The, v, uh, the V70 Volvo, for example, was an absolute steal at the price it went for. And of course, the Triumph Stag, the old English white Stag, a very good deal at five grand, I think, um, albeit it needed a little bit of work or whatever. Um, the other Triumphs, the TR6s, some went for money that you'd expect. Equally, others, uh, yeah, uh, perhaps less so, but uh, no doubt people have walked away with some really good deals this weekend. And it's great to see the market being so buoyant and uh, uh, all augurs well for later this year. And um, as you'll see uh, at the end of the video, I just did the uh, auction coming in April. So we have another opportunity to go and see uh, more classic cars then. And we'll try and check in with Owen and Chris Holmes and all of that before that and do another preview if we can. Good. OK, well, um, that's about it for us for this week. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to join us on a Saturday. Uh, hit our website, to sign up for our Saturday Sockets email. It uh, goes out weekly and uh, lots of people uh, say they get great, um, great joy from that. We do too in writing it all. And uh, also your badge of honour, uh, tax disc sized sticker, if I can say it right, uh, is free of charge anywhere in the world. Just go on our website, uh, leave us your details and we'll send you one uh, to proudly display on your motor, regardless of whether it's a stag or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're all part of the same family here as far as I'm concerned. Good stuff. OK, well, have a great week. And uh, as usual, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. All the best. Bye.